Traction on the Earth as a Sphere. This is the episode number three. So we are going to make use of all the formulas we derive in episode one and two. So here we are concerned about the shortest distance between two points on the surface of the Earth. Remember the end part of episode two, we explain what the distance could be on the surface of the Earth. So now we are saying we have to find the shortest distance between the point X, which is on the coordinate zero uh, degrees latitude, zero degrees south, and 20 degrees west. Then the point Y, which is also on the latitude zero degrees south, and on longitude 10 degrees east. So you have to find the shortest distance along the line of the latitude and also through the earth, taking the pi to be this and the radius of the earth to be this. So let's make a sketch. Remember, we need to make a sketch of the sphere and put the distances into it. Okay, so the diagram is going to be like this, where we are going to locate the point what x, zero degrees. So this is our longitude, uh, sorry, the latitude zero degrees south that's our latitude then this is going to be longitude to the east so this become longitude what do we have longitude 10 degrees east then we have 20 so this is going to be 20 degrees what west so, which point are we going to place first? The X. So, on the zero latitude, on uh, 20 longitude. So, this is the 20. It meets the latitude here. So, the point X is going to be there. Then, on the same latitude zero, we have longitude 10. Longitude 10 is also meeting the latitude here. So, this is our why so what are we looking for we are looking for the distance between this this is our latitude it should have been a little bit closer to the center that is a latitude zero and if it is latitude zero it means it's the equator and the equator is a grid circle remember it's a grid circle so the radius of the circle formed by the equator is going to be the same as the radius of the circle and of the earth. So in this case, we are looking for this distance. I can cut out this. Let me put it here. X O Y. We are looking for the angle that will be formed here so that we can find the length. This length is the length of an arc that is connecting the X and what? Y, which is the latitude. How do we get an angle? Remember, we know that if I'm asked to find the angle, the angle between x and y is going to be calculated as, you can see the latitude are the same. So we ignore the latitude. We are picking the longitude. And they are on the opposite side, west east west east so we add 20 degrees plus 10 degrees and that gave us a 30 degrees so the angle here is going to be angle 30 degrees so we know the angle what are we looking for we are looking for a the length of x what y the length of the arc x y and that could be given to us from our means friction two properties we have the angle divided by 360 times what two pi what r we are using capital r here because this r is the radius of the center take note this is the equator a grid circle so we use capital r if it to be uh, a different latitude which is not the equator we have to use a small r we can check that from the first episode so now we are going to do substitution. 
We know the angle 30 degrees. We know it is divided by 360. 2 times 22 over 7 times 6,400. We can perform cancellation, but we just put this in the calculator because we want to conserve space. Let's put it in the calculator and find the answer. And that will be giving us 3352.38 kilometers. So the distance, let's see in thousand. So 3352.38 kilometers. That's the distance. Remember, we talk about the importance of knowing the Earth as a sphere to find the distance between two points by sailors, pilots, and all uh, people who make use of compasses. So this is going to be 3,352. That is if we are finding a distance along the latitude. Then for the B, we are to find it through, through the Earth. Meaning if I have the circle here, our X is here, our Y is here, we are moving through the distance, the, the shorter distance, direct distance from here. So don't forget, the angles still remain 30 degrees, the radius is there. So you're looking for the distance. So here, the distance here is going to be the chord. So the length of the chord. Remember? So we are going to have length of chord x, y, the length of arc, x, y. Let's put a difference into it. There are so many ways we can arrive at this. But I uh, remember I have a tutorial on how to find the length of a chord. We pass through three different approach. I'll be using one of such approach in this. You can check the remaining ones in the playlist on YouTube. So I'll be having the length of the, the chord X, Y is going to be 2R sine theta over 2. I'm using capital R in this case because I'm referring to the radius. In other cases, the small r will be used because that is the radius of the small circle. So this is going to be 2 times 6,400 times sine theta over 2. That will be 15. So that will be 15 degrees. Permit me to put the answer there. We don't have space. So we have 2 times 6,400 times the sine of what? 15 degrees. And that will be giving you 3,312.88 kilometers. So the, the distance, we can see that this distance is going to be shorter than moving along the latitude. So on the latitude, you have 3,352 on the court, which is passing through the earth, you'll be finding 3,312.88 kilometers. I believe the concept is grabs. Good. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Come back for episode number four, where we pick different aspects of this in that episode.